What's up there, Cubester baiters? Chris Cote here with another epic edition of Cote's Cube. My guest, Keanu Essing. What's up, brother? How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, that's really nice of you to ask. Nobody ever asked me how I'm doing. Well, um, you're in California. You just surfed lowers this morning and uh, obviously here for the big contest of the summer, NSA Nationals. Jump right into it. Um, how many years have you been competing at, at Nationals and uh, what are you looking most forward to this year? Oh, I've been surfing Nationals for about eight years, ever since I was a mini ground. I've been doing it since I kicked Cobra Calso and all those guys are doing it. So it's cool just to see those guys progress and um, me going following their footsteps and getting older and stuff. So it's cool. And I'm um, just ready for Nationals, just getting ready, just surfing lowers and excited for just to see all the um, the work from all those guys are coming out and see what they got. So it's cool. For sure. Now, I know like the weeks leading up into Nationals, it becomes a madhouse of uh, grommets out there. Um, tell me what the sessions have been like um, at Lowers lately. Gosh, it's um, there's just people everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of like Rocky Point. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of guys just got to respect the locals. Just like how there's, there's locals at Lowers? Where do you have to live to be a local at Lowers? Like in the bushes right on the beach? <laughs> yeah, just the guys that surf there all the time. You just got just to gotta respect them, be nice to them, and um, just wait for your turn in line and just catch as much waves as you can. Sure, I haven't actually surfed in there in like three weeks, but I'm still in line for that wave. Um, so you've actually had a really good run of surf contest. Um, congratulations for the win at the ISA World Games in Ecuador. Um, give me your brief like feelings after that. I mean, obviously, World Games, it's a big deal. And I saw you with the Hawaiian flag up on the shoulders. The photo was sick. Like, how was that treating you? Um, it, was, it was so surreal. I couldn't even... I couldn't even believe it. I was just like, I pretty much like blacked out. I just, I don't remember anything. I was just, I just like, as soon as I made the final, I was just still, I was really happy I made the final. So I was like, whatever, whatever happens, happens. And um, I came out with the win, so it was like better for me. I was really happy and um, I just really couldn't believe it. And it's psyched. It's one of those things, like it's not only a win for you, but like Hawaii in general, like you must have got a good welcome when you went home. Yeah, it was like it was cool because when I got home, all, everyone was happy for me and congratulating me, and I just never had that before. So it was it was, it was really cool. Just chicks at the airport with signs like waiting for you to get off the plane. Just waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> now um, uh, uh, another new experience. You got to go to uh, Tahiti. Uh, you're board catting for Jordy Smith in the in the lineup, right? Um yeah, one heat. Um, not. Uh, I was I was board catting for Andy Irons. Just, oh. Yeah, just three time world champ. I wish I could be that cool. <laughs> now, did you get a, Did you get a surf a lot in Tahiti and stuff? Um, yeah, actually, I was staying with Jordy and Shmu, Shmu Jitsu. So it was fun. Like we we've been surfing a lot, and um, it was cool to surf with all those guys and see how it is, like what they're thinking and how they prep for their heats and. Um, just stuff like that, so it was real cool and big learning experience for me, and I was really psyched to go see all that stuff. For sure, be around like the the energy of the top guys yeah. must get you psyched for like the contest coming up. What else besides NSSA Nationals do you have coming up this summer? I know there's Pro Juniors, a lot of stuffs happening right now. Like, what's your next couple months looking like? Actually, pretty busy. Um, from here, I'm doing Nationals. I just had the the Pro Junior. At the Arnett one, and then Nationals, and then I'll be going to do the Nike Pro Junior at Huntington, and then from there I'll be going to South Africa and checking out the CT. Yeah, checking it out, though. You're going to be doing more than checking it out. I actually just heard this yesterday. So you're going to all the way to South Africa, 16, and uh, what, you got a little uh, special kind of little thing waiting there for you, right? Just a little thing, kind of. <laughs> now I'll be going surfing the trials, and... I'm I'm really ex excited. I've never done anything like this in my life. So I mean, no matter what, how I do, and um, I just hope to put on a performance and just do my best. And I'm just happy. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Keanu is seeing um, you get a spot in the trials to hopefully. We all hope that you get to actually win the trials because that would be so sick to watch you serve at J-Bay. Well, I know you got like the most busiest summer ever, um, so we're going we're gonna to end your time on the queue, but 
we're not going to let you go without giving away a free subscription to Transworld Surf, all right? Um, we just came up with this question, and uh, it's it's kind of easy, but it might be a little difficult. You know it, so don't say it. Um, what food item describes a fight in Hawaii? So what food item describes a fight in Hawaii? You know that. You guys answer on the comment boards below right here. And uh, thank you for watching an episode of Kote's Cube. We're going to be watching Keanu all summer. And we're going to be watching you during the trials. And just hoping and praying that you get in the main event because that would be sick. One of my favorite surfers right here, Keanu. Yes.